Holyhead, known for its port and being a direct line to Ireland, situated on the west coast of Anglesey, Holyhead is a beloved town by many. Though its outward appearance is lacklustre, it is still home to a population of around 12,000 people. It was never always so dismal looking. Back in the 80s, Holyhead was thriving and it was a very popular tourist destination. With barely any shops vacant, Holyhead was bustling with life. Many would come all over the world to see the outdoor kiddies pool on the seafront and some weren't too bothered about the long queues at the ferry port. Holyhead is steeped in history, with a medieval church that many visit and ancient burial chambers scattered all around the island. Holyhead is magical and many like to visit. Time has not been Holyhead's friend. From her outward appearance you can see that she has been neglected. Though many locals are trying to keep her alive, it's hard in the middle of a cost of living crisis. And her downfall isn't always about the cost of living. Sometimes the weather can play its role. The town and the famous Breakwater have been hit by several storms over the last few years, but no storm like 2018 storms Emma hit the town hardest. She swept through and destroyed around 80 boats, which sank several. And since then, the once lively marina is now absent of life. And many are turning to conspiracies of a cover-up, a marina building going into flames not long after the storm hit. This building contained information and documents on the marina set up and the breakwater itself, so many believed that the explosion was not by coincidence. So with a town steeped in history and many locals dying for it to be renewed, is there still hope for Hollyhead? Can Hollyhead come back from the cost of living or will she sink like the boats within Storm Emma? I am very fortunate to call Hollyhead my second home. With its fairs and festivals still taking place and the circus visiting often, Hollyhead has still got life within her. With the possibility of the port becoming a free port, this could create over 13,000 jobs. Stenerline said it was working with companies that were interested in building factories along Anglesey if free port status was granted. Stenner Line has already bought the former Anglesey aluminium site so companies can set up factories within the Freeport zone if the status is awarded. It has also been said that they are in discussions with Rolls-Royce and Betchel which are interested in making components for smaller nuclear reactors. This could open up many more job opportunities for the locals of Holyhead. Stenner also states that the Freeport status would simplify things for lorries travelling from Ireland. So with the possibility of a free port status comes more jobs and more openings and chances for locals to thrive. The possibilities are endless and exciting. It is the hopes and dreams of mine and many of the locals that Hollyhead can be put back on the map and become its once beautiful, thriving little seaside port town.